Hello guys. This video is to teach you how to design a response for email through free tools. In fact, there are many ready-made email templates and free mail design tools available on the internet. And this video is to introduce one of them. The name of this tool is called B. It is very simple and intuitive in operation. Now, please open the browser and search bfree.io and open the home page of this tool. After you open the official website of B, you can click this button and sign up a pro account. The B Pro version offers a 50-day free trial. So if you already have a Google account, you can click sign up with Google. If not, please fill out the sign up form. Okay, after successful registration, you can click login and choose one of the login way. If you log into the pro version and you should see this page. And the pro version use projects as a folder to save your mail designs. In other words, multiple mail design results can be stored in the same project. And you can click uh, open project, just like open the folder on your computer. After that, you can see all your mail designs and if you want to continue editing and any of works, you can click and open it. But if you are using it for the first time, you can click Create New to add a new design. And you can click Start from Scratch to start your designing. OK, in here we can see a blank template and here have a three button on the top left of the patch. First button is preview. It's used to preview the effect of your mail display on the web and the mobile phone. And through this function, we can see what is response for email. Okay. And the second button is send test. That when you finish the mail design, you can click on it to send the test mail for yourself. And the third button is show or high structure. This function is used to separate your design layout and you can clearly see every part of your email through the grid. The top right of the page has an exit button so if you want to close this draft, you can click it and go back to the page of your project. OK, go back to the email design page. OK, on the right hand side of the page is the function area. All the components and settings that can be used when designing your mail are providing here. And the function area consists of three buttons, namely content, growth, and settings. Next, I'll introduce them through to design a response email based on an example, and I will tell you what example we use. Now, please open the homepage of the Amazon. and search ASUS laptop. Next, we will refer to this page to design our response for email. OK, go back to the mail design page. First of all, we need to think about our mail layout and add some arrangements on workspace. 
we can use an arrangement with one column as our header, but there is currently a built-in arrangement in Workspace. So we can further drag three arrangements with two columns that could be used to put the product's image and the description. In here, we can switch the function to the empty and the drop three arrangement. Of course, you can adjust the column width that you prefer. Okay. Besides, we also need a regimen that have two columns of equal width so that we can put some button as CTA. And at the end of a marketing email, we must put a footer and make sure to include your company-related information and the privacy policy, which I have mentioned earlier. So at the bottom of our mail layout, we can drop a arrangement with single color as a pass for footer. So far, the simple layout of our mail is complete. Next, we need to put shootable components in each arrangement. The first arrangement is generally used to place the company logo and the main subject of an email. Uh, besides, you can also add the menu like the Amazon web page in this arrangement. So in here, we need to add three components include image, title, and the menu. The next three arrangement is used to display our product list and uh, each product contain a uh, photo and a description. So please drag and drop the image and uh, text in this arrangement respectively. Besides, if you want to show more CTA such as subscriber or shop now, uh, we can put some CTA button of the product list in here. In this practice, we can add two CTA that recipient can log in or sign up our website quickly. So we can put two button in this arrangement. Okay, the last arrangement is used to display footer of our email design. So we can drop social and the text in this space. Now, all the components we will use have been placed in suitable arrangements. Next, let's edit the content of this email. First, we need to make relevant settings for this image components. And the most important function of this image is, of course, to display pictures. Therefore, we must first specify the picture to, the, to be displayed. And there are two ways to show your picture. The first two ways to use web page picture and get the address of picture that you want to display. So please, Open a new tab on browsers and search Amazon. And exchange the function to the uh, image. And selecting the picture that you prefer and open it. Then Click right mouse button, you can see that there is an option called 
copy image address and click on it. Next, switch back to your mail design page and pass the address that you can uh, adjust copy on the field of here, URL field. Pass it. Now we can see that the image component has displayed the Amazon logo on our workspace. And the second way is to use the picture save on your computer. For example, we can switch back to the image page we just uh, searched for and let me select another logo on Amazon. Then right click and uh, uh, choose self image as Okay, to save this picture on your computer, then in here, click change image. And upload the picture you just downloaded. Okay, after uploading, you can click insert and can see that the new Amazon logo has displayed. After insert the picture on the image component, uh, they also have other options that you can use to setting the picture. For example, uh, you can adjust the width, align, and uh, painting. Okay, in addition, in most marketing emails, the company logo will provide a hyperlink function uh, allow the recipient to click on logo and directly connect to the uh, company web page. So in image link, we can add the URL and link to Amazon official web website. Okay. Let me open the official website of Amazon and copy the URL. And back to this page and paste the URL in here. Okay. The above is the description of all the settings of uh, image components. Next, let's complete the display and the related setting of each product's image. Okay switch to the Amazon page. Then we can simply right click on each product image and uh, cut image address. And paste the URL in here. Okay, besides click on each product image should be able to link to the product introduction page. So we can uh, copy and pass the link address of each product's page into the image link field in here. Okay, so right click here and the copy link address. then put the URL in here. Now, every product image has a, uh, have a hyperlink that can be quickly linked to the product introduction page. Next, 
we need to edit the title, which is use e, uh, your email subject. The title must make the recipient willing to view uh, your mail content and even willing to further click on the product link content in your mail, uh, mail message. So in this practice, I set the title as promotion and the daily life. Daily special. And in order to highlight the subject, we can set the font to blue and adjust the text size and the color. The font size adjust in here. In addition, we also can specify the hyperlink to connect the sales page. For example, we can copy the uh, product's URL and uh, select all text of title, then click uh, Insert Link and paste the URL here. Okay, on the right-hand side of the page, there have some options that you can uh, set the title, include title style, and the font family, and other setting you can try the effect that you prefer. Next, we can create a menu and to add some items that uh, let recipients can link different web page quickly. The original mail have no items, so we have to add it uh, ourselves. Uh, we can refer to the web page of uh, Amazon in here. The menu is in here. And now uh, uh, we can click add new item to add uh, five new items first. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. After add items, we can see that each item contains uh, text, URL, and the title field, fields. Among them, the title is only uh, used when writing HTML code. So in here, we don't need to fill in any text in title field. We just need to fill in the term name and its link address in text and URL fields. Now let me demonstrate how to do it. First, we can refer to the web page of Amazon and uh, uh, enter the items then in each text field. So the first item called today's dailies, today today's deals deals. And the second item is customer service. Okay, after finish the text of our menu, next, on Amazon web page, we need to uh, right click on each item and uh, copy the link address. And pass in URL field. Okay, after finish to add item and URL, we can further to set a display of item on the right hand side of the page, such as uh, font family and font size and text color and link color and so on.
In here, we can uh, set a regimen of all item, such as uh, vertical or horizontal. And there is a great setting function called uh, separate. We can enter any symbol, for example, comma. And to separate our items, I uh, generally like to use the symbol of divider. It position on keyboard is above enter key. You must pass the shift key and the list key and the list key at the same time to type the uh, divider symbol. Okay, up finish the design of our menu. Next, we need to uh, input the text description on each product. Compared with other components, the setting of text, okay, is very simple. The operation is similar to the Office Word. It does not provide many setting options, so uh, it is easy to understand how to use it. First of all, we need to uh, copy the description of each product on Amazon web page. And pass to uh, text block. Please uh, be attention. When passing text, please right click and select Paste as plain text. To do so is to ensure that the fonts of all description are consistent. Next, just like use Word, we can adjust the font style in here and the size and add blood and the legend in this function. In addition, we can insert a hyperlink so that the recipient can quickly connect to the product, intro, uh, product introduction page. Okay, so right click to the product description and select copy link address. And select, select full text, insert the link and paste the URL. Again. Okay. Copy link address and select the test and copy your link, copy and pass your link. Also, they have some uh, simple setting on the right hand side. You can change the uh, text color with hyperlink and uh, a letter spacing and a pending. Okay. Okay, if you want to use the same color to the all product description, you need to copy the color code. And pass to other text components color code. Besides, we can add a component called uh, divider between uh, each product. 
So please note that all components must be placed in the arrangement. Okay. In other words, the components can be dropped only if they have arrangement that you want. So please use four arrangement with one column and drop to the top and bottom of each product. Then drop the component of divider into this arrangement. Now, let's preview the result of our email's design. Okay, we can see that through, uh, at some divider, the product list does not seem to be clouded. Okay, go back to the design page. And the divider also has uh, its property that you can try to set and test the effect. Okay. Next, uh, we reserve two button to allow our recipients to quickly log in and uh, sign up to the website. So please rename these two button. Then we need to copy URL on our Amazon website. Okay, in the Amazon website, we can uh, right click, sign in, and uh, coupling address. Then uh, pass to the URL field of button. Then we can click uh, a right click start here and uh, copy the link address of sign up and pass the button the second button's URL field. Okay, next let's see what setting to button has. Send a text component, the font style and size of button can adjust in here. And you can try to make the font bigger in order to make the uh, buttons more tracking. Besides, on the right hand side, we can close the uh, auto width and uh, manually adjust the width. Okay, doing so can make your buttons have a consistent size and style. And we can change it, uh, uh, obvious color of the button. And uh, we also can change the button uh, test color in here. Okay, uh, there are some other settings and you can try to see uh, what will be the effect, okay? And um, our next component called uh, social. And this component allowed uh, you can uh, add many social media link and let the uh, recipients link to your fan page um, or channel directly. Uh, 
the component of social content uh, for social media icons by default, namely uh, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and uh, Instagram. Or we can change the uh, icon style in here. And uh, uh, add new icon or delete, delete icon. Besides, uh, we can drop and adjust the position of each icon. Okay. Next, we need to set the URL for each social media icon. Uh, we can switch to the uh, Amazon page and click. Okay, click about Amazon. Then scroll to the bottom. Uh, here you can see the old social media link, uh, link icon of Amazon. So we can uh, right click on here and copy the address. Then uh, pass to the corresponding URL field. Okay, let's continue to finish the last part, namely uh, footer. And this, uh, this part I uh, usually use to uh, place a company's related detail. Uh, it should include a company name, uh, contact information, and the privacy policy, and so on. So in here, I want to use the uh, footer on Amazon web page directly and please uh, copy the footer on Amazon web page. Then, pass to the text block. Okay, and uh, I can, you can edit the uh, divider, divide the common in uh, each item. Okay, so far uh, our response female has been completely designed. Uh, we can test effect through uh, preview mode and can see the display effect on desktop or mobile. And each hyperlink, uh, you can also click to text with uh, to uh, open the corresponding web page. Okay. If you have already text, uh, text on preview mode, uh, you can uh, close it. Now, please click exit. Then, uh, in first field in here, we can type our uh, mail subject, for example. promotion on Amazon and click the send then click save okay and the second field can show the uh, preheader on uh, mail's preview pen uh, we can enter 
the uh, editor button and I can uh, enter short uh, sentence uh, for example uh, here last seven days okay and uh, save finally click export and uh, click uh, push to your sending system and select uh, Gmail and create search your Gmail account And go to the Gmail service and uh, uh, open the drafts that you just sending to yourself. Okay, you can open uh, this draft, and you can see the uh, mail design in here. And you can type your uh, mail address in the two field and lead uh, redundant coding on subject then simply click your mail content and click send okay please check your inbox we can see uh, the subject in here and the, the preheaders uh, such as uh, last seven days has display on um, the preview pane and uh, this content are uh, uh, what we just setting right and beside the pre uh, preheader also has showed a uh, short paragraph from uh, the design page we can see in here the title of uh, our mail design is uh, promotions and daily special so in the preview pane we can see the, uh, okay the same the same paragraph in here in other words uh, when designing a marketing email the title must be enough to uh, attract the recipient to open your email Okay, that's all for this video about how to design and send a responsive marketing email.